Hi everyone, I am going to be explaining the differences between using multi-channel and multi-mono versions of plugins. And I'm also going to be showing you some cool tricks using multi-mono versions of the plugin. So, first of all, you've probably noticed that if you've tried to insert a plugin on a stereo track, you get the option of either multi-channel or multi-mono versions of the plugins that you have. Now basically multi-channel plugins are plugins that are designed in this case to be stereo. And so both the left and the right channel are going to pass through a single plugin. And the processing that happens is going to take into account both the left and the right uh, channels as it does the processing. So where that would be important is for example if you want to do stereo compression, you want to be able to have the compressor factor in both the left and the right channels in determining what kind of gain reduction that you should be getting. Now multi-mono versions of the plugin are basically two of the same plugin mono versions, one used for the left channel and one used for the right channel. So right now I've got both a multi-channel version of EQ3 and a multi-mono version. Now the reason why I know that this plugin is multi-mono is because I have a section here that allows me to select the plugin that is on the left channel or the plugin that is on the right channel. And we are going to view both the left and the right channel at the same time by holding down Option and clicking on either the R or the L. And that will allow us to see both the left and the right channels. Now you'll see as I make any EQ changes right now on any of the plugins, you can see it does the same thing to the other one. And that is because they are currently linked with this master link button. So if I turn that off though, you will see now my left channel can be independent of the right. So this can be great. For instance, let's say you have a stereo track and the right channel is a little bit louder than the left. You can adjust that right here with the input or the output, or if you just wanted the EQ to be different on the left or the right channel, you can make those changes. So I'm going to go ahead and play this mix that I've got here, and I've got the multi-mono EQ here on the mix, and I'm going to just be making some changes so you can hear how that sounds between the left and the right channel. Okay, so you can see the changes that it can make. Now, one of the tricks that people like to do with multi-mono plugins is use them along with mid-side processing. Okay, so you can get what is known as an MS decoder for free. Um, one that I am going to use here is from the HOFA plugin company, and I'll show you their website real quick here and this is basically their meter fader and ms pan plugin and the reason why i'm using that this plugin is because it's got this button here that allows me to decode it to an ms format now what that does is that's going to now take this mix and it's going to make it so all of the mid information so all the information that's panned in the center is now going to be in the left channel so our left ear and all the side information is going to be in our right channel. So let me play this again, and I'm going to go ahead and hit this button, and you'll hear it change. So you can hear how that split up. Now, the advantage of doing that is now we can use a multi-mono plugin and be able to add EQ to just the center of the mix or just the sides of the mix. Now, in order to get it so that after we've done that, we hear it back in stereo and not mid side, we just use another instance of the plugin and we again use the decoder. So, although this time we're actually going MS to stereo, we just need to keep it to MS here so that it knows to, to decode it again. So I'm going to go ahead and play the mix back again. And as you can see, I'm right now on the left channel of the multi-mono EQ. So as I make changes here, you'll hear those changes only happening 
to the information that's in the center of the mix. Oh, and this plugin right here needs to stay at MS as well. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so you can hear how um, the mid information was being changed. So what I'm going to do now is go to the right version of the plugin and make some changes as well. And you'll hear now just the sides being changed. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Um, please subscribe if you like my videos and I'll bring another one soon. Thanks.